colleague Aishwarya is live with me at the moment. Aishwarya, the Prime Minister is of course congratulating Mr. Jagdeep Dhankar. Are there others who are there as well who have arrived at the residence of Mr. Joshi to congratulate Mr. Dhankar? Well, uh, we, know, uh, we have seen the Prime Minister coming and congratulating Jagdeep Dhankar. We've also seen J.P. Nadda, who's the president of Bharatiya Janta Party. Piyush Goel is also inside the house. Uh, these are some of the top leaders. Uh, we are expecting Home Minister Amit Shah to also arrive in some time. At the moment, you know, we are giving you visuals of uh, the supporters, the people who are happy, uh, those who are now waiting for Jagdeep Dhankar to come from inside the house. In fact, uh, let me also, you know, ask Pradeep to show you the stage which has been made on the other side. That there is a chair which has been kept for me and Jagdeep Dhankar will address uh, the press uh, from here in just a couple of minutes or oh, at the moment the supporters are here waiting for Jagdeep Dhankar to step out of the house uh, uh, we are yet to uh, know whether it will be Prime Minister who will be accompanying Jagdeep Dhankar but it looks like at the moment that the passage that you see filled with people who are wearing these turbans are supporters um, of Jagdeep Dhankar they are now waiting for uh, the, the uh, Jagdeep Dhankar to now come and address the media. Uh, the stage is already set. Uh, we are also expecting some more leaders, Polymi, to arrive at the moment. However, the ones, the important ones uh, who have already arrived are the, the Prime Minister. We have also seen Piyush Goel, who is inside. Uh, we are seeing how many leaders are now tweeting and congratulating and the very lengthy tweet coming from Jagdeep Dhankar's opponent, Margaret Alva, in which she's spoken about the kind of... Uh, cracks that are there in the opposition parties and she's also pointed out uh, the fact that uh, there is no unity uh, in opposition uh, the, uh, amongst the opposition parties uh, which is something which is which is costing them and which according to uh, Margaret Alva also costed her certain votes because we are seeing uh, that uh, Jagdeep Dhankar has won in a landslide polemy. Uh, no celebrations, uh, more celebrations are expected at the moment. We did see the ladus being distributed now. Everyone is waiting for Jagdeep Dhankar to step out of the house and then to speak with the media polemy. Right. Uh, Aishwarya, of course, bringing us all of those live pictures from inside 11 Akbar Road. Those images on your screens, uh, viewers, of uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who has arrived at that very spot where Aishwarya is at the moment congratulating Jagdeep Dhankar, who, in fact, uh, assumed a very vocal role in his uh, past role as governor of uh, West Bengal, was often seen sparring with West Bengal Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee. Uh, while he, of course, uh, assumed uh, the chair of governor of uh, West Bengal. Aishwarya, also give us, if you could speak to some of the people over there, on the ground over there, who are celebrating this moment, BJP party workers and others as well, who are celebrating this uh, moment, uh, to give us a sense of how excited they are to see Jagdeep Dhankar in this coveted position in the second highest constitutional office of the country. But well, Paul we tried speaking with uh, the people who are standing here. However, they have refused to speak. They are they're only chanting. They are only showing victory signs. They will speak only after Jagdeep Dhankar steps out of the house. They have been given very clear instructions. They can celebrate. They have been distributing ladus. But as far as speaking with media is concerned, that's something that they are not doing at the moment. I believe that they have been given clear instructions. Uh, they, they are waiting for Jagdeep Dhankar to step out of the house and then maybe speak a few words. Only then will we see the supporters come out and and speak with the media. However, at the moment, we'll again cut to visuals. Uh, everyone is now uh, waiting uh, for Jagdeep Dhankar to step out. The people here, uh, uh, whom you see, all of them are now just waiting for Jagdeep Dhankar to step out of the house and to come here and speak. The, the chair, his chair is already ready. Uh, at the moment, uh, you know, we are not seeing any dholes uh, or any chanting taking place. Everyone uh, is now waiting. And also, uh, Polymy Europe, uh, you'll see that they are looking at one side because that's the way through which Prime Minister went inside. So they are also hoping to catch a glimpse of Prime Minister Narendra Modi who is still inside the house. Uh, so we will see some commotion take place once Prime Minister steps out. At the moment we understand there are many leaders inside. Uh, prominent amongst them are uh, J.P. Nadda who is the BJP President. Also Piyush Goel. We are also expecting the Home Minister Amit Shah to arrive in just uh, some time from now. At the moment uh, everyone is waiting for uh, the Vice President-elect Jagdeep Dhankar to step out of the house and then to speak with the media. Follow me. Right, and the charge which has been made by Ms. Margaret Alva 
Jagdeep Dhankar's opponent in this election, Aishwarya, is a very serious one. She has always been known to be someone who is very outspoken. She speaks the mind. She's not going to wait for instructions uh, for to speak or not to speak. She's someone who speaks the mind. And today she's gone out there and categorically stated that unfortunately some opposition parties chose to directly or indirectly support the BJP in an attempt to derail the idea of a united opposition. You know, this was in fact something which was direct, uh, discussed at length during the president elections as well that there was a lot of cross, cross voting that happened during those elections and possibly it's true that it happened during this election as well which is what Margaret Alva is pointing at Aishwarya Margaret Alva uh, Palmi is a veteran uh, politician. She is an old, 80-year-old lady who's, who's, who's had decades of political career behind her. So, uh, you know, she's not someone who will speak something just for the sake of speaking it. She is someone who, will, if she speaks something, if she writes something, then she means it. And if she is saying that the opposition was not together, then definitely, uh, you know, she has felt it. And she would also probably be knowing about some, some of the cross-voting that has taken place. We did see cross-voting taking place during the presidential elections but it was not expected during the vice presidential elections but unfortunately according to Margaret Alva that is something that has happened so we could see the opposition not uh, standing together not being united and that's also polemy which is something uh, polemy you and I say in the national capital we understand how almost every week we see these rumors these names floating of leaders, big leaders from the opposition party going and meeting uh, BJP leaders. So, you know, we are seeing those cracks in the op uh, opposition as well and that's exactly what Margaret Alva is also pointing towards. We are also seeing how the protest march which was being taken out uh, by the Congress party, uh, initially they spoke about uh, uh, that, uh, you know, they, they were fighting because Sonia Gandhi was being called to ED, but then they, they, they changed the stance because they understood opposition will only come together when they speak about larger national interest uh, like inflation, like the GST. So all those things are definitely playing on the minds of leaders. And the biggest blow was the fact that uh, uh, the TMC, which has the second largest number of MPs after Congress, they have abstained from voting. So definitely it shows how big a crack there is in the opposition ranks.